welcome to The Contenders. I'm your host, Peg Min Young. As the weather gets colder, it's a tradition in Korea to curl up with a good comic book, have some sweet potatoes, and go, get under a warm blanket on a warm ondol floor. Maybe you can do that while you join us for some interesting questions today. Let's welcome today's contenders onto our stage. <laughs> Welcome again. It's great to see you guys here. It's the Jennings team, Brian Flynn and John Lee. Welcome back and tell us a bit about what's been happening. Great. Um, recently just got back from Vietnam, was in Hanoi and Ha Long Bay. Um, beautiful sun, great swimming. And Brian I here. Was, I was just uh, doing some trekking in the Philippines in uh, northern Luzon. So uh, we both had a good time. We're glad to be back here with, uh, with the show. Yeah. All right. It's great to have you back. Good Thanks. luck to you today. Going against the Jennings team, we have the two geeks with us again, Sham Kumar and Mark Long. So it's great to see you. Uh, what's changed? Um, well, we've, well I've been, we've both been living here for the last two years since we were on the show. And um, these days, I've started my own company in Korea. And um, I'm now importing toothpicks mm. from New Zealand. So uh -huh. that's, fairly, uh, that's been quite uh, busy the last few months. And um, no, everything's pretty good, pretty happy, and uh, really enjoying still living in Korea. Yeah. And uh, Sham, Sham's been busy. Yeah. I heard that you got married. Yeah, I got married last year in June, so uh, I've been getting into some kind of a business. I'm running a travel agency now in Korea. Mm -hmm. So been pretty busy and happy to be back. All right, content. it's great to have you guys back. Two Geeks and Jennings, good luck to you today. Let's get on with our game. <laughs> and as you know, uh, we will beginning, be beginning with multiple choice questions for our consolation game. Uh, why don't we have you choose first? Jennings team, Q, U, I, and Z. Go with Z. All right, going with questions at Z, number one. Of the following, what is the number to fit in the blank of the following book title? Alibaba and the Blank Thieves. 1, 3, 2, 12, 3, 40, 4, 101. 3, 40. Mm -hmm. And was that your favorite children's book? No, far from it, I guess. What was? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Morris goes to school. Morris the Moose. I don't know if y'all. I, I actually it's know classic. that series. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a cute series. Let's go to question two. Of the following, which symbol is not on a keyboard? One, two, three, four. We'll say one. Yes. <laughs> and now we go to question three. Of the following, which two countries celebrated the 10th anniversary of Eurostar connection between them? 1. UK, Germany. 2. UK, US. 3. UK, Norway. 4. UK, France. 4. UK, France. Have you had a chance to ride the Eurostar? Yeah, I, I haven't. Yeah, I did a uh, few years back. Oh, well, if you win seven in a row, you know, we get you to go to Europe again. <laughs> we go to four. Of the following, who has become the first act to be awarded with a multi-platinum award for paid-for music downloads from the U.S. record industry? One, Eminem. Two, Usher. Three, Beyonce. Four, Outkast. If you're not sure, you can use Chance. Chance. We will take away two of the incorrect choices and please make your final selection. Okay, four, Outcast. Good choice. <laughs> Having used chance, we go to question five. Of the following, price of which product increased due to a friction or due to friction between France and the Ivory Coast? One, cotton, two, cocoa, three, coconut, four, coffee. Coffee is everywhere. 
Hmm. Jennings, we need your final decision. Uh, two, Cocoa. Good decision. And do you like chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very bad news for us. We we'll go to question six. Of the following, which is the element with the atomic number 14? One, calcium, two, neon, three, plutonium, four, silicon. For silicon? Yes. Now we go to question seven. Of the following, which one of these countries borders all the other three? One, Greece. Two, Romania. Three, Turkey. Four, Bulgaria. Number four, Bulgaria. Very good. Question eight. Of the following, which U.S. president received a Pulitzer Prize for his book, Profiles in Courage? One, John F. Kennedy. Two, Bill Clinton. Three, Jimmy Carter. Four, Ronald Reagan. Uh, Jimmy Carter, number three. Actually, that is a Kennedy book, John F. Kennedy. And Jennings, you have 70 points on the board. And two geeks, now it's your turn to choose. You have a choice of Q, U, and I sets. Q, Q. Q. Going with question set Q, number one. Of the following, on road signs, what does P indicate? One parking, two people, three position, four prestige. Parking, yeah. Parking, yeah. One parking. Question two. Of the following, which character was not a real person? One, Antonio Salieri. Two, man in the iron mask. Three, Sherlock Holmes. Four, Cardinal Richelieu. Two weeks, chance. you can use chance. chance. Yeah, we'll take the chance. We'll take away two of the incorrect choices. And two weeks, we need your answer. Uh, three, Sherlock Holmes. A good use of chance. We go to question three. Of the following, which piece of clothing is for women? One, kilt. Two, barong. Three, tuxedo. Four, chador. Two geeks? Two geeks, we need your answer. Uh, uh, number four, chador. Yes. The Baron is a Philippine, a Philippine male outfit, skirt, like clothing. <laughs> we go to question four. Of the following, which is the title of the recently released sequel of the game that anyone with an Xbox would have? One, Doom. Two, Halo. Three, Sims. Four, Outrun. Two, Halo. Question five. Of the following, which film company floated on the U.S. stock market last month? One, DreamWorks. Two, Blue Sky. Three, Walt Disney. Four, Pixar. Number four, Pixar. Three marks that floated last month. Two geeks, you have 40 points on the board. Jennings, you are in the lead with 70. <laughs> and
And now we have come to a favorite section of mine. We give you 100 seconds to go through a list of 20 words in a pre-chosen category. Once you pass, you can't go back. Jennings, it's your turn first. And your pre-chosen category is American football. Right. Do you have a position that you like to play? Uh, well, because my size is so large, I'd like to just avoid any kind of contact. So I think I'd go with kicker. Mm. So <laughs> I'm not exactly the best guy on the football field. So. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. Go. Okay. You wear this helmet. Okay. So most preposition. John Elway was a quarterback. Okay, the championship game. Super Bowl. Okay, you start the game off with this. Kick off. Okay, the Dallas are really famous. Winning. Cheerleaders. Yep. Okay, San Francisco. 49ers. Yep. Okay, this is a... Pass. Okay. Okay, he was a quarterback before Steve Young. Joe Montana. Okay, when you score, you score a... Touchdown. Okay, the movie with Al Pacino. Uh, any given Sunday. Okay. This is the line of... Scrimmage. Okay, the New England... Patriots. Okay, offensive... Defensive. Play, player. Uh, lineman. Okay, famous guys killed his wife. Uh, O.J. Sim Simpson. Yeah. Okay, not second, but... Minute. No, um, okay, number. First half. Okay, now, First. but uh, there's four of these to, to First get... First quarter. Um, after 10 yards, you get a... First down. Okay, so the professional... Um, association. NFL. Yep. Okay, it's the Jerry Rice was a wide receiver. Yep. Okay, the Packers are in Green Bay. Okay, this move was Adam Sandler. It's about uh, uh, water boy. Yep. Okay, you score three points, it's a field goal. Okay, if you're going to bring too many people, it's a oh, um, R. Uh, a movie with. R Rudy. Okay, um, like if you're curring R, it rhymes with bush. R. Rush. Very good. I could tell that you enjoy the, <laughs> the sport of American football. Yeah. You did a great job. You went through the entire list, got all the points. You have 270 points on the board. And two geeks, now it's your turn. And your chosen category is Steven Spielberg. Right. Is he your <clears throat> favorite director? Yeah, sure. He is. And so we'll see how much you know about your favorite director. You ready? Yep. Go. The Little Alien. Uh, E.T. Uh, what kind of movies does he make? Uh, S. Science fiction. Uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, Minority Report. The Fake Child. Uh, AI. What is he? What is, what he? is Steven Spielberg? A director. Uh, Harrison Ford. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. No. The Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Shark. Jaws. Uh, dinosaur. Uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, Tom Hanks, the new movie at the airport. Uh, the Terminal. Iron Hand. Iron Dustin Hand. Hoffman. Hook. Uh, his religion, Jewish. Uh, his company, new one, uh, DreamWorks. Uh, Tom Cruise, the war movie. Uh, sorry, Tom Hanks, the war movie. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Color Purple. Uh, Pass. Uh, the World War Ship movie. Uh, Emmy Stud. Uh, the mini series, uh, Band of Brothers. His wife, current one. Uh, Kathy Capshaw. Uh, D. Sword. Fight with swords. Jewel. Uh, his best friend. Uh, George Lucas. You just passed on one, the Twilight Zone, but you got all 19 other words. Two geeks. You have 230 points on the board. Great job. Jennings, you remain in the lead with 270. And now, let's welcome Mr. David Huang onto our stage.
Hey, Eun Young, how are you? All right, how are you? You know something I noticed that I hope everyone got to see your outfit today. You look like a flamenco dancer in that dress. I wish we can get the full body okay. checking out, no? Okay, anyway, so uh, guys, uh, welcome to the stage and uh, looks like it's a really close game and more than that, looks like we have two formidable uh, opponents here and uh, teams here, so I really welcome the challenge here to the contender stage. And if you guys don't mind, I will introduce the rules to the next section. Is that all right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This next section is a round of non-multiple choice questions. The first team to buzz in will get the first chance to answer. Now, if that team gets that question wrong, that chance will be given to the other team. Now, if neither of you guys can figure it out, we're going to help you out with the help of a spelling hint that pops up on your screen. And uh, there's 15 questions in this section, 30 points per question, five seconds to answer each one. Got it? Yeah. All right. Let's have question number one. All right, question number one is about music. This band decided to tackle music piracy by offering fans a chance to legally download up to 100 pirate recordings. The downloads will be available at a fixed cost of five pounds per recording. All proceeds will be donated to the Mercury Phoenix Trust to combat AIDS. This is a British rock band with hits like Bohemian Rhapsody and we are the- Jennings. Yeah. Queen. Yes. Battle of the buzzers. <laughs> we go to question two. Question number two is about ideas. After the startling success of its turkey and gravy flavored soda during last year's holiday season, a Seattle soda company will be serving up green beans, casseroles, mashed potatoes, fruitcake, and cranberry flavors. This U.S. holiday, which falls on the fourth Thursday of Jennings. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Day. <laughs> And what do you think about, I don't know, turkey and gravy flavored soda? I haven't tried it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd have the guts to try it, probably. Sounds interesting. Yeah. It's uh, definitely worth a try. Green beans in my soda, I don't know. But uh, by the way, did you know, though, that Thanksgiving of all holidays in the United States was the most traveled holiday? Mm -hmm. I figured I was reading up on it and I thought it would be Christmas or, you know, some other holiday, but Thanksgiving is actually. Hmm. For your information. Moving on to the next question then? <laughs> yes, let's have question three. All right, question number three is about geography. The four million inhabitants of this region will have to change their way of life if warming trends in the region continue apace. The area is warming at nearly twice the global average. It is experiencing some of the most rapid and severe climate change on Earth. This is the region that lies around the North Pole. Jennings? Yeah. Arctic? Yes. And two geeks, it's a very close game. I urge you to take a chance and buzz in quickly. We go to question four. Question number four is about titles. This Golden Globe winning drama is to end after its fifth season. Actress Frances Conroy, who heads up. Two geeks. Friends. Hmm. Jennings, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question who heads up the quirky Fisher family, picked up a Golden Globe in 2004. This show set in a funeral parlor was one of the shows that brought HBO international recognition and a clutch of awards. What is the title of this? Jennings, five seconds. Jennings? Sopranos. Let's take a look at the hint. And it's that morbid show, The Family. Jennings. Six Feet Under. Yes. Not a favorite of yours? Never seen it, yeah. Me neither. Oh. I've never seen it either. Okay. <coughs> never heard of it. <laughs> I have. <laughs> All right, let's go to question five. How's the show, though, if you've heard of it? Is it a good show? It's interesting. Interesting? It's kind of dark, but interesting. Let's go to question five. Let's check it out one day. Question number five is about business. General Electric sold a majority stake in this Indian arm for $500 million to two private equity firms. GE was one of the first American companies to subcontract back office work to India in an effort to save costs. The term pertains to purchase of labor made by a company from a store. Jennings. Outsourcing. Outsourcing? Yes. Let's move on to question six. All right, question number six is about animals. 
In the 1980s, an uncontrolled poaching spree reduced this animal's population by 98%, but, but anti-poaching activities have now given them a chance to recover their numbers. Although the collective noun used for this animal is crash, in practice they are fairly solitary. Native to Africa and Asia, this is a massive horned mammal. Two geeks. Rhinoceros? Yes. Good to see you on the board, two geeks. And let's move on to question seven. All right, moving on to question number seven is about issues. On November 11th, Yasser Arafat died at the age of 75 and his body was interred in Ramallah on the West Bank. This organization with its former... Jennings. The Palestinian Authority. Two geeks, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. With its former leader, Yasser Arafat has become the generally accepted organization of the Palestinian people and their desire to have a nation of its own. What is this? Two geeks, five seconds. Palestinian Liberation Organization. Yeah. And let's move on to question eight. You guys took the hard road. We would have taken PLO. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on to question number eight. It's about persons. This person retired after playing for the New York Yankees in the 2003 World Series. Roger Jennings. Clemens? Roger Clemens. Yes. Moving on to question nine. By the way, though, th the significance here definitely is the fact that he just won his uh, another Cy Young Award, oldest player to win the Cy Young at 42. And you got to give it to him. The guy is an incredible player. But the thing about him, actually, actually, the thing about most, most great athletes is not only are they blessed in talent, they're blessed with durability. There's a lot of great talent that like fizzle out early in their career because they get injured or whatnot. But Roger Clemens, he has a combination of everything, and hats off to him for sure. Anyway, now moving on to question number nine. It's about biology. The 11-year-old female nicknamed Sue. Jennings. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Two geeks. Your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Nicknamed Sue was recently spotted for the first time in six years in Sri Lanka. The white elephant has great significance to Buddhism. Actually, it is like a very pale tan color and is thought to be the only wild elephant lacking pigmentation in Asia. What is this kind of animal called? Two geeks, five seconds. Two geeks. Albina. Yes, albino. <coughs> and we go to question 10. Question number 10 is about companies. Business Traveler magazine conducted a blind tasting of airline wines. For their white wine category, this airline, company's Pierre Spar Grand Cru Mamberg Gwitz Tramer, was chosen as the winner. In second place was Mission Estates Crisp Sauvignon Blanc, poured by ANA. This is the largest airline based in Korea. Two geeks. KAL? No. no. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. KAL? Korean Air. <laughs> Had to get the travel agent to check. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we go to question 11. That's right. Uh, all right, anyway, question number 11 is about sports. Eddie Charlton has died at the age of 75. Known as Steady Eddie in the 1970s, he won the pot black title three times. He first competed for the world title in 1968, losing 39 to 34 to John Pullman. This is a billiards game played on a special table. Two geeks. Snooker. Yes. Are you a good snooker player? I play a little bit, yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> wow. So, um, well, do you know about Eddie Charlton? No, I never heard of him. Ah, well, <laughs> he is one of the famed players. We move on to our next question, question number 12. Question number 12 is about countries. This country's chances of joining the WTO could be scuppered by its parliament's refusal to lift the ban on alcohol imports. Alcohol is made locally in this Muslim nation, but is rarely served except in restaurants or bars in its main cities. This is a country in Northwest Africa. It gained its independence from France in 1962. What? Jennings. Morocco. Two geeks, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. What is this country? Five seconds, two geeks. Algeria? Two geeks. Algeria? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And with three questions left, we are very close. Two geeks, you trail at 410. Jennings, you're in the lead with 450. Let's have the next question, please. All right, question number 13 is about psychiatry. Scientists have identified faulty brain waves that may explain the symptoms of this. Cells in the brain that exchange information about the environment and form mental impressions were less active in people with this disorder. This psychiatric disorder affecting the coherence of the personality is the most chronic and disabling. Two geeks. Schizophrenia? Yes. And with that, two geeks, you're up to 440, Jennings 450. Let's have question 14 now. Question 14 is about computers. IBM's Blue Gene L was named the fastest one of these in the world, pushing Japan off the top of the list. IBM test results show that Blue Gene L has managed speeds of 70.72 teraflops. This is a computer that leads the world in terms of... Two geeks. Mainframes. Jennings, it's your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. In terms of processing capacity, particularly speed of calculation. What is this? Jennings, five seconds. Jennings. Supercomputer? Yes. And now we've come to our last question. Question number 15 is about organizations. This organization has expressed deep concern for Bangladesh's minority Muslim Ahmadiyya community. Some Islamic groups have threatened to step up on their plans to attack Ahmadi places of worship. This is a non-governmental organization that works to promote... Jennings. Amnesty International? Yes, and with that, you win, Jennings, and get to go on to the finals. Two Geeks, it was great having you back on our show. It was a very, very close game. Uh, what do you want to say to your supporters? Well, just wait till we come back again. <laughs> Yeah, right. It was pretty good, yeah. Nice to be here. Well, thank you again for joining us. And so we'll be right back after this with the Jennings and ID teams. Welcome back, the ID team. It's great to see you again, Duncan Smith and Ian Whittington. So this is your chance at win number five in a row. So tickets here will get you to the US. How are you? Feeling fine, yeah. Excited? I am, yeah, I'm excited. So. Mm, but you saw the Jennings team go at their first half, pretty I'll go with Able Dave. Game. Mm -hmm. They look like formidable opposition. Yeah? That's <laughs> it was right. A good, good match. <laughs> It'll be very fun for us. <laughs> good luck to you, ID, and good luck to you, Jennings teams. Let's get on with our final section. In our final section, we give you five categories of questions. They're ranked in difficulty, 10 to 50 points, and there are five questions per category. What are today's categories? All right, today's categories are newlyweds, medical miracles, art and the city, long lengths, and weird patent. Mm -hmm. And you have to get one question correct to choose the next, so good luck. I'll go with our first question, newlyweds, 10 points. A wedding band is a token of marriage worn by a spouse to indicate a marital commitment to fidelity. Christians wear the ring on their left hand, while Orthodox Christians and Jews traditionally wear it on their right hand. Rubber bands are often used when people marry sh on ship or on board a ship, and no ring can be fitted. The most common material is a precious yellow alloy. ID. Gold? Yes. And ID, you get to choose. Let's go Art and the City for 10. Art and the City for 10 points. 
Last April, authorities in this city mourned the death of a 146-year-old oak tree. A replacement tree will be planted in January. The tree survived the infamous 1937 bombing of the city. Jennings. Dresden. ID, it is your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. Of the city during the Spanish Civil War, it was seen as a symbol of Basque nationalist pride. Pablo Picasso wished that this work would not go back to Spain until the end of fascist rule there. This is the name of his painting depicting the bombing of the city. What is this? ID, five seconds. ID. Uh, Guernica or Guernica? Yes, it is the Guernica. And ID, you get to choose. Uh, art and the City for 20. Art and the City, 20 points. In the 20th century, many artists and art lovers have migrated to New York City. It is great to explore the spaces that have been so important to the art world. This person moved there in 1930. Last May, his painting was sold at auction for $11.65 million, setting a record price for a work by a post-war artist. He developed techniques of dripping his paint. ID. Jackson Pollock. Yes, he was dubbed the Jack the Dripper. And Jennings to go against the ID team who is very experienced. You've got to buzz in quickly. And ID, you get to choose. Um, I'll go back to newlyweds for 20. Newlyweds, 20 points. A young bride who became the talk of India 18 months ago for calling off her wedding has now made it onto the school curriculum. Nisha Sharma became a role model for middle-class women after she got her fiancé arrested when he demanded more money. This custom is outlawed in India, ID. Dowry payment? Yes, it is the dowry. It is the amount of money given by a bride's family to her bridegroom's or groom's family. And ID, you get to choose. Um, I got newlyweds for 30. Newlyweds, 30 points. This fall, wedding halls across Korea were much more crowded than in spring. It was because last spring had something called this. In Korea, it is customary not to get married in that year. The solar year does not have a whole number of lunar months either. So, ID. Leap year? Jennings, it is your chance to answer, and I'll finish the question. So a lunar sol loony solar calendar must have a variable number of months in a year. Thus, sometimes a 13th month is added to the year. What is this? Jennings, five seconds. All right, let's think. ID. A leap month? Yes. <laughs> we would also have taken intercalation or embolismic month. And ID, you get to choose. Um, I'll go uh, medical miracles for 10. Medical miracles, 10 points. John Baker, an American microsurgeon, has subsequently performed a separate hand transplant. However, technically, taking the face from a dead body and refitting it to a living human should be only marginally more difficult than any other form of transplant. Images of John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in this outlandish face-off. How did you feel about that? The movie? The story. The, the story. Oh, I the actual, it, it, it wasn't a movie. It was actually taken, it actually took place. Somebody had a <coughs> face transplant. Somebody did have a face, face yeah. transplant. Uh, well, that's remarkable. I didn't know that was true. Yeah. So, a little it's scary amazing. in some ways. Right. Mm. Scarier for the person who has the face or who gets the face or a person who loses the face. As long as you end up with a face, I think it's probably okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we go, uh, well. Medical ID, what miracles, would you like? 20 points, please. All right, medical miracles, 20 points. A person named Robert Geyer needs a surgery. So until surgery, the device called Life Vest is his best defense. He wears the vest like the gel pack. Wires are connected to a monitor that he wears. If this organ goes into arrest, an alarm sounds. Jennings. Heart. 
Yes. <laughs> Jennings, it's good to see you on the board. And Jennings, what would you like? Uh, weird patents, 50. Weird patents, 50 points. Hi, contenders. I'm Shin Kyung Ho, staff of Korea Invention Promotion Association. Can you imagine our world today without computer? When the first large scale general purpose digital computer, ENIAC, was created in 1976, nobody would have thought that the computer will cause such drastic changes in our life today. Some of the best inventions in our history came from paying attention to what others would think as useless and unpractical. Those inventions are the fruit of the creativity that everybody possesses. There are so many weird and wacky patterns in the world and I hope that you will enjoy these questions on some of the interesting and strange inventions today. UK patent number GV104-3375 outlines the method of piping snow and ice fall from Antarctica to elongate the Australian desert. The patent claims that it resolve the world famine. The snowball accelerates under gravity from 3,000 meters high on the Antarctica plateau, reaching 800 km per hour at sea level. They are then pumped naturally through the pipeline by this. Jennings. Coriolis force. Yes. <laughs> and in physics, this is an inertial force. And Jennings. We'll take uh, weird patents for 40, please. Weird patents, 40 points. The Electric Power Research Institute in USA got a patent for a new type of clothes dryer using this. This dryer technology works by evaporating water molecules without excessively heating the fabric. The dryer introduced this energy into the chamber to evaporate moisture in the clothes more quickly than a conventional dryer. This has wavelengths approximately ID. Microwaves? Yes. Also known as SHF, super high frequency signals. And ID, you get to choose. Uh, let's go with weird patents for 30. Weird patents, 30 points. An energy conversion machine does not cause audio or noise pollution, air pollution in our environment. The wind and water energy is utilized by the machine for water desalination, heating, cooling, or as on the water life support system. The machine having this shape is open on the top. This shape exact relative dimensions supposedly act as an antenna for an unseen energy similar in concept to kite, the energy of light. What is this? It is a geometric shape formed by connecting a polygonal base and a point called the apex by triangular faces. Jennings. Pyramid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Jennings, you're catching up. 100 to ID's lead of 140 points. And what would you like? Take weird patents for 20, please. Weird patents, 20 points. You might not want to know, but the method producing this animal involved surgical alteration of a one-week-old gout. U.S. patent number U.S. 4429685 is a method of growing these animals. It is claimed to produce this animal of higher intelligence and physical attribute useful as a guard animal. The surgical alteration of a gout to horn bud will make them to grow together like this mythical animal usually defeated as a white horse with a single straight spot. ID. Unicorn? Yes. So somebody patented a method to surgically alter a baby goat so that it would have one horn so it could look like a unicorn. And what would you like to have next? Um, I'll go long lengths for 10. Long lengths, 10 points. There is no solid historical evidence for this popular version of the legend. According to the Greek historian Herodotus, uh, Pheidippides ran from Athens to Sparta. ID. Uh, marathon? Yes, it is the marathon. 
long distance track event. And ID, you get to choose. Um, go long lengths for 20. Long lengths, 20 points. Many units of length named the vis have been used with widely differing definitions or originating from the Roman. It consisted of 1,000 double steps or two strides by a Roman soldier, each such double stride having a length of approximately 2.4 feet. Along the roads built by the Romans throughout Europe, it was common to erect a stone to announce the distance to Rome, the so-called this stone. ID. Mile. Yes, they were milestones to mark how close you were to Rome. And ID? I go uh, long lengths for 30. Long lengths, 30 points. Although no longer an official unit in any nation, league is a unit of distance once common in Europe and Latin America. Purists prefer 20,000 miles under the sea since 20,000 leagues is 60,000 miles. And furthermore, this distance is a measure. ID. Jules Fern. Yes, we were going to ask you for the person who wrote the classic science fiction novel about Captain Nemo and Nautilus. Do you like the book? Um, I've never read it. Oh. I just, I just knew he wrote it. Ah. So. Okay. Jennings, I encourage you to buzz in quickly. And ID, you get to choose. I'll go long lengths for 40 points. Long lengths, 40 points. A nautical mile is widely used around the world for maritime and aviation purposes. The definition was adopted in 1929 by the International Extraordinary Hydrographic Conference, Monaco. In some sailing ships, speed was measured by casting the log from the stern. Jennings. Not. Yes, it is the unit of speed defined as one nautical mile per hour. And Jennings, good to see you on the board. You get to choose. It's good to be on the board. Uh, we'll take uh, patents for 10. All right, patents, 10 points. George Seddon got a patent on his load engine in 1895. In fact, you will find a small plaque leading manufacturer under Shetton patent on most cars built during the early 19s. Although his load engine was not actually used by anyone making cars. However, Henry Ford was just one pulled out. Shetton shoot him, but his patent was declared invalid. In 1908, his company initiated the production of this first map. ID. Model T. Yes. It was called Tin Lizzy and Sliver, the Model T. So Ford didn't go along with the Selden patent. And ID, you get to choose. Um, art in the City for 30 points. Art in the City, 30 points. The name Biennale in Italian means every other year, describing an event that happens every two years. ID. Venice. Jennings, it is your chance to answer. The most important Biennale is an art exhibition that takes place in Venice. But there are others, for example, in this city in Korea. This year's theme of the Korean Biennale, a grain of dust, a drop of water, reflects the concept, which can be understood as ecological order. This is the capital city of South Chola province. What is this? Jennings. Guangzhou. Yes. And Jennings, you're catching up. You get to choose. Art in the city, 40 points. Art in the city, 40 points. This person earned a comfortable income from paintings commissioned by Jewish bourgeoisie. He first made himself known by the decorations he executed for theaters and, above all, for the Kunsthistorisches Museum in a coolly photographic style. He is known for his use of gold in paintings. Secession was 20th century art movement related to Art Nouveau, important in Vienna. Who is this? Gold paintings. This is a painting. A specific gold painting is very famous. All of his paintings are used in pop art. ID. Gustav Klimt. Yes, The Kiss is one of his most famous works. All right, I see. What would you like? Uh, let's do uh, Art in the City for 50 points. All right, closing the category. Art in the City, 50 points. Montmartre is a hill with a view of Paris. 
Near the end of the 19th century, it became a principal artistic center of the city. Many impoverished artists lived and worked in a commune during the years 1904 to 1909. In 1906, this person moved from Venice to Paris. ID? Uh, uh, Picasso. Jennings, it's your chance to answer. This Italian painter and sculptor would later become the epitome of the tragic artist, creating a posthumous legend almost as famous as that of Vincent van Gogh. Who is this? Jennings, five seconds. Known as an extremely handsome man, mm. Jennings. Uh, Casanova. ID, five seconds. Verlaine. We are looking for Amadeo Modigliani. <laughs> okay. Um, why don't we go with Medical Miracles? 30 points. Faith healing is the use of solely spiritual means in treating disease, sometimes accompanied with the refusal of modern medical techniques. The existence of this is still controversial, but doctors have ascribed some success to this effect. This is the phenomenon that a patient's symptoms... Jennings. Placebo. Yes, for non-specific effects. And Jennings, you get to choose. Long lengths, 50. Long lengths, 50 points. During the 18th century, this unit was based on the distance from Cali in northern France to Perpignan in southern France. It is close to the longest continuous north-south line segment within France. It was originally defined in terms of the size of the Earth. In 1983, the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during a time interval of... Jennings. Light year. ID. Your chance to answer, he'll finish the question. During a time interval of 1,299,799,458 of a second became its current definition. What is this? ID. A uh, meter? Yeah. 39.37 inches. <laughs> and what would you like to have? Um, let's do medical miracles for 40. All right, medical miracles, 40 points. Very simply, ALD, adrenoleukodystrophy, is due to the removal of white lipid sheets that surround neurons. Taking place from 1984 to 1987, Augusto and Michaela Odone became involved in a fight to save the life of their son. Failing to find a doctor capable of treating the son's rare disease, they sought their own cure. This is a combination... ID. Lorenzo's oil? Yes. It's a combination of two fats extracted from olive oil and rapeseed oil, respectively. And it's from a 1992 film that Susan Sarandon and Nick Tolte uh, starred in that many of us got to know the story. It's amazing how these two people, the Odones, just figured it out themselves, how to save just millions of children. They, it was too late to save their own son from suffering, but mm. it helped out so many other boys. And ID, you get to choose. Um, I'll go medical miracles for 50. Closing the category, medical miracles, 50 points. In 2002, Karen Kuzik was pumped with so many drugs to fight a potentially fatal virus that doctors feared that something might happen to her unborn baby Charlotte. She was born 12 weeks early. Karen said, she is my little miracle because she gave birth to a baby while in this as she battled against a virulent form Jennings. Coma. Yes. <laughs> Which is a deep state of unconsciousness. And Jennings, you get to choose. Take uh, newlyweds for 50, please. Newlyweds, 50 points. The use of the bridal chorus and wedding march selected by Queen Victoria for her marriage on January 25th, 1858, has since become traditional. The former is from Lohengrin by Richard Wagner. 
In 1842, this person wrote incidental music for the Shakespearean play A Midsummer Night's Dream, including the famous wedding march that is played as the recessional at many weddings. Who is this? The music. Jennings. Pachelbel. ID, five seconds. The music is played often as the bride and groom walk out of the wedding ceremony. Five seconds. ID. Oops, no. I thought it was someone else before you said M. So. <laughs> Jennings, five seconds. It's Felix Mendelssohn. Um, <laughs> All right, kind of we've got just now. one left on the board. We've got newlyweds for 40 points. The Greek Orthodox wedding ceremony is divided into two parts. The preliminary rite of betrothal with the blessing of the rings and the rite of the crowning, which constitutes the actual sacrament of the wedding, uh, of the marriage. A wedding reception is very lively. You can see it in this 2002 romantic ID. My big fat Greek wedding. Yes. <laughs> Mia Vardalos also wrote the script, who was the star. And with that ID, you've won five in a row. Congratulations. <laughs> Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. Jennings, it was great to have you guys back here. Um, I know you have lots of supporters. What do you want to say? One love. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Thanks for y'all. watching. Yeah. And uh, live long and prosper. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but you soon. All right. Weekend. All right, thank you very much for joining us today. And now, ID, you've got tickets to Hawaii. And how are you feeling? That's it. Stop there. So. <laughs> Hawaii, is the, Hawaii is the one for me. To... Really? So you're no. satisfied? I'm, I'm satisfied. Oh, well, don't listen not to really, me. Not really, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to go aiming for yeah. the continental US then? Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, All okay, right. well, okay, I'll come You're back. coming along whether you like it or not. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> OK, congratulations again on your fifth win in a row. And with that, the ID team has won five games in a row. We'll see them again next week. Join us then. Bye-bye.